This is Anthony from VR Roundtable, and I am playing Dimensional for the HTC Vive. Now, this is a game that I bought a long time ago, and I haven't checked it out in a long time, so I'm going to go ahead and see uh, what's, what's going on with this game. Okay, so... When I first played this game, there was four levels, and then we were waiting for more levels, and I wonder, do I just need to unlock these other levels? Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to level one so I can show you guys why I like this game. Let's see, how do I do that? Uh, okay, and then click your teleport button. Your first task is to find a companion droid. Okay, so we're trying to do the very first level of Dimensional. I tried the demo for this game, and I thought the demo was really cool. And it's... Rookie, rookie. Don't forget, your body's still back in your own room. So if you want to stay safe, stay on the grid. So... I tried the demo of this game, and it was really impressive to me. Uh, it kind of reminded me of budget cuts and stuff, but I like how it, it shows you your play area at, kind of at all times, so you can kind of walk around and figure out what you want to do. So let's see, first person controls. Yeah, so I could do trackpad movement if I want to, but you know, I don't, I don't mind uh, teleport. Teleport works works pretty good for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk onto this room scale style, and it opens this pathway up, so I can go boom, and now I'm over here, and it shows me kind of where I am in my room, and this wall right here feels like a real wall and it feels like I have to kind of go like this. I know technically I don't um, but this game does give you the ability to walk around room scale style and check everything out which is really cool. You go to these things and it gives you uh, it tells you about basically different things about the game. Sometimes you'll need to crouch or lean to see the way forward. So, you know, they'll, it'll, if you step on these things, it's kind of like instructions on how to play the game as you go through the game, like a tutorial. D for dimension. But it's, it's kind of amazing to me that nobody talks about this game. This is one of the best kept secrets, I think, on the HTC Vive. Although I don't know if it has all the levels yet. Like we would like it to have all of the levels. So I'm not sure about that. Okay. So kind of... Uh, You start to get claustrophobic. I really feel like these walls are all around me and I am inside this this small space and I have to stick my arm out like that to get it into that spot. And so here you're going through a hole that goes way down. And so what you got to do is you teleport down here. Now I'm on the ground floor. and way up there that's where I just came from now I'm down here and room scale the beauty of room scale is I can see a grid here so I know that I can walk like this so I can walk around which is pretty cool I can go over here now I'm in the light. See, it's a different kind of a light. It's dark over there. This shows me again my play area, but I'm getting a little bit far in one direction. So I'm gonna back up a little bit here. i go like this. You can turn this off. 
Uh, I believe there's a way to turn this off and then it would give you a little bit more immersion if you have this grid turned off and you don't know specifically where you are in your room. But uh, I'm not going to turn it off. So... I don't know why I can't teleport right here. I guess I just need to walk over. Whoa! Okay, I died. I screwed up. Okay, click the reset button on your controller to return to the last checkpoint. So, this one. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Okay, so this is the last checkpoint. Okay, I see where I am now. I was screwed up before. So I can teleport right here. And then, so you'll have these environmental puzzles. Like, this is a puzzle right here. I've got to get all the way over there real quick. Um, or I'm going to die. So, hold on here. So, I made it across. I teleport in here. This door closes. And I'll tell you what, I like walking around this environment right here. I really feel like this is a real space. I'm in this room. Everything is kind of red. There's a there's a wall right here that I just went into. And, uh, you know, this is room scale. This is what you love. And I'll say this is what I'm blessed to have such a large room space that a simple game like this can be so entertaining just because I can I can walk all around and uh, check this place out. So I don't know if that's shooting stuff at me or what, but I'm going to get out of the way of it. Teleporting to a beacon is a little different. First, it drops you back to limbo. From here, you can fold dimensions until the target comes to you. Okay, they're talking about folding dimensions and stuff. I'm going to stand in here. It says, your teleport system can lock on the beacons and transport you there. Tap the usual teleport button on your controller while pointing the laser while pointing the laser pointer towards the beacon. So see that thing right there? If I hit that thing right there, it's going to put me right there. So boom. And what it does is it moves the dimension and actually brings it to you. Or so they say. So now I'm up here I believe and now I need to go down here and this I think I'm in a completely different place at this point so I go through here and I'm in this room and this is like whoa this kind of looks like Logan's run you know carousel carousel take me away Okay, then you have these things that don't look too friendly over here. So I can go over here and find out what the story is. Sometimes you need to activate switches to unlock and open doors. Okay. You can kind of teleport around and basically get a view of what's going on in this, in this room here. You see that stuff up there and you're like, that doesn't look too friendly. You know, you go over here. And you just kind of see what you're working with here. And so it's pretty obvious that I need to get higher up. So I'm going to go up here. So now I'm standing up here. Not too far away from those crazy blades. But I want to get up here. So now I'm over here. And I can see there's a switch up there. So if I go right onto the switch, boom, I touch the switch. That opens the door, and I can teleport right to this, and it will zzz, magically bring the door right to me, and now I'm inside a different area here. And so I'm on this ledge. Let me see. Can I go to my options? I want to turn off the, uh, I want to turn off that grid if I could. Uh, let's see, how do I go up and down? Uh, huh. 
doesn't seem to want to go up and down. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, let's see. Maybe graphics? No. Uh, let's go gameplay. Uh, uh, maybe calibrate floor grade? Generate from chaperone? Huh. I don't know uh, if there's a way to turn off the floor grid. Kind of want to turn off the floor grid if I can. I thought I could. So microphone settings. Graphics. Maybe graphics. Let's go into graphics. Uh, no. Not seeing it. Gameplay, no. Okay. Okay, well, anyway, I'm not sure how to turn this off. I thought there is a way to turn this off. I still think there's a way to turn that off. But, um, who knows? Look at the clouds that are flying by outside. That's a nice little touch. I mean, this is somewhat of an amateurish game. This is obviously not created by, like, a huge team of developers, but what they lacked for in sheer size and budget, they made up for it with uh, determination and moxie to create a adventure-type game that is pretty cool. Now, I'm looking up there, and I'm seeing this giant ball up there. I'm wondering if that is going to be a factor at some point. But let's see, we can go here and find out something. Activate checkpoints by getting close to them. If you get in trouble, we can teleport short distances through time to bring you back here. Well, isn't that a lovely idea? I kind of like the futuristic style of this game in terms of like folding dimensions and stuff like that. It's a pretty cool idea. Um, but if you walk through here, it saves your checkpoint, so hopefully my checkpoint has been saved. Okay, so I'm going to go up here, pretty much in the middle of my play space here. Go here, and then it's like, oh my god, this giant ball is coming! Oh my god, what am I going to do? So I go over here, and I let that giant ball go right by me. And let me tell you, when that thing... Oh, shit. Hold on. Uh... Digby. It looks pretty cool, Digby. Hey, I'm hacking your systems. They will reveal what you missed when you're back at base. Find the truth. Save us all. Marnie Lash. Okay, whatever that is. Version 2. Point what? Installed contextual info enabled. Digby! You're such a cool guy. Where'd you go, Diggs? Okay, so that's your little robot friend, Digby. And he's a part of the game from this point forward, I believe. But now we're about to go to a new level. I'm going into a Tron. A Tron-like container that's going to transport me. Get back to the middle of my play space here. Use your laser pointer to select a level, then click your teleport button. Okay, so I'm back to level select. So let's go to level 2. I only got a C grade in level two, so we can improve on that. I would, be, I do believe. So let's see if we can improve on our C grade. This is the second level of dimensional. And here's my guy Digby. Digby's right here. He's floating around. And he looks like he's right here. You know, that's pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. 
So, so did I read this? It's not new to me too. Aliens, hunters, teleporting, it's crazy. I woke up in this control room yesterday. No idea how I got here. Inappropriate dialogue terminated. Okay, call Digby. Click your left trigger to make Digby fly towards your controller. Hold the trigger to make him follow your controller for precise positioning. Hold your controllers near your face to see button mappings. Okay, Digby, come over here, buddy. Ah, oh, now that's a very good robot. Be a very good boy, Digby. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, I don't know what this little thing is down here, but you know what? I do remember that I can actually mark this thing and have... Yeah, I can have Digby smack it. So you can do this, like I can mark this and then Digby will hit that. So you can use Digby to solve puzzles. He complains about it after a while though. But he's a good little Digby. Isn't that right? Uh oh, I'm being shot at again. I go over here. Select a valid target with your laser pointer. Hold the trigger longer and harder to increase thruster power and release it to shoot him. Hold your controllers near your face to see button mappings. All right, so let's see. There's something shooting at me over here. I wonder if I could use Digby. Let me call Digby. Over here, bro. Let me call Digby, and let me see if I can... Uh... Oh, I guess I can't do that, and I just got shot in the face. So I have to start back from my last checkpoint, which is right here. And Digby? I know it doesn't sound good, Digby, but yeah, it doesn't sound good. Okay, Digby, see this thing right here? I want you to smack the hell out of it. Good job, Diggs. Okay, let's try this. Over here. Hey, don't be talking back. All right. Good job, Diggs. Uh, let's see. What is this, Diggs? Come here. Can you do something with that? No? Guess not. Guess it doesn't mean anything. Okay, this... There's a little dart thing that is shooting darts over here. I need to boom. Oh, man, I got shot again. It's pretty hard to die in this game, to be honest with you. I just haven't played this in so long. Okay, let's see. I need to return the last checkpoint. Alrighty. I haven't played this in such a long time, so I'm kind of... Oh, okay, so look. It's hitting here. What I have to do is I have to go like this and go bang. Oh, it still shot me. I guess that didn't work. Okay, let's see. Let's try this again. Okay, so maybe I have to go all the way into this room over here. Okay, one, two... Oh, wait, I gotta call Digby or he'll get left behind. Come on, Digs. All right, bro, we're going over here. We're gonna completely bypass that whole thing over there. And we completely bypassed it. But Digby is stuck not going to worry about digs right now. I'm going to go in here and try to uh, save my game real quick. And let's go over here. Employee of the month. So I'm going to guess that this guy is one of the developers of this game. I'm going to take a wild, wild guess. Patrick O'Luana. For increasing the average alcohol intake of our employees by 216. Yeah, I'm going to say this guy Patrick is one of the developers of this game. Uh, I don't know if that's his real name, but... Okay, so we have what appears to be a force field. It says I can just walk through it, huh? Just walk through it? Oh, maybe just try to teleport through... Oh, this is when you can... Uh... That's weird. Let me see if I can just walk through. 
Okay, I walked Use that through. Toy to knock through part of the wall. Carefully. Just went ahead and walked right through it. Now I need Digby. Digby. Let's see. How do we get Digby? Uh, click to. Re oh, here he is. Hey, I didn't know you could teleport like that, Digby. Okay, so here's what I need you to do. I need you to just smack that piece right there. Good job, Diggs. Come back. Let's try this piece. Diggs, this is what you were built to do. Smack it. Good job, Diggs. Okay, I might be able to teleport right through here. Yep, and I saved the game. And so this thing is coming over here. Let's see, what do I need to do? Teleport over to here. Boom. Digby! Digby, I don't want to lose you. That thing was about to smash us. Well, it's got a target on it. Hit it, rookie. That target over there? Yeah. Let's go ahead and stand on this thing and see what it says. To shoot Digby further, you need to fully squeeze the trigger and hold for a few seconds while his, while his thruster charges up. Okay, Digby... Here's the deal. We want to smack right into this target, but I got to hold this trigger a long time so I can get your thrusters at full power. Okay, let's go over here. Whoa, that was pretty trippy. I thought for sure that thing was going to smash me. Okay, Diggs, we can come up here. I love the graphics, you know, just the simple textures. Um, this floor here, I really wish that I could get this, the chaperone thing to completely disappear because then I could get a little bit more immersed in this world. It's kind of reminding me at all times that I have a room and this is how much space I have in the room. The good news is it shows me my play space and I can get to the middle of it and I can walk around, I can walk back, but at the same time, it kind of uh, lowers the immersion a little bit, but I see clouds outside. Uh, the graphics are, you know, they're pretty good. Again, this is a game that I, I'm pretty surprised that this game does not get mentioned very much at all uh, from hardly anybody. But uh, I think it's pretty cool. So let's see. I think we just have to actually get low and just walk through here. I don't know if I got hurt at all. Time to walk back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So. Try getting higher. We got to get up higher. So I go up here obviously and then ah i can go over there just double check that there isn't anything else that i might be missing so i'm gonna go teleport over there and see dimensional it just takes me through a dimensional gate um where's digs digby there you are okay so like i can say hey digby smash these Come back here, Diggs. Wait, let's smash this. Okay, come back. I need to knock this thing off of here. Okay, uh, good job, Diggs. Head back this way. Let's see, can you smash this, Diggs? Good job, buddy. Let's get rid of this little robot guy. Sorry, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. The hunters will destroy them. You must save them all. Okay, yeah, we're supposed to be saving some type of uh, offspring or something like that. The story, there is a little story with this. Droid status. If you aim your laser pointer at the icon above droids for a few seconds, your HUD will show their status report. Each droid holds a key code. So you can point your thing at, at Digby. Uh, okay, wait. Maybe not. Okay. Let's see. Digby, come back over here. And look, am I supposed to smash you on here? No, that's not doing nothing. Oh, I'm supposed to stand on this. Duh. I'm supposed to just stand over on this. Okay, boom. 
Open the door. Open sesame. Okay, it's gonna be one of these kind of doors where it's gonna be moving. And we just, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna walk back here. I teleport closer. Oh, did it just teleport me through this place? Okay, I need to go here and then walk through. Oh. Teleport into the hologram and I'll hack the security door. Teleport into the hologram. Okay, mate, I will teleport into the hologram. Okay, so Digby made it through. So you're basically going through the levels and it's simple puzzles. You know, but it, it takes great advantage of room scale. So if you have a very nice, uh, large room scale area that you can work with, um, I don't know why why it's doing that. I could have just some. Oh, whoa, okay, tell me that wasn't pretty sweet. Digby. Can we smack this thing? No. Okay. We're gonna go this way. Mind the step. Come on, Diggs. So we can step out here and kind of see, whoa, what's going on down there? Okay, I feel like I am way up here and this is going way down. So boom, we just got ourselves way down from way up there and Digby's still up there. Digby. There you go, Diggs. And there appears to be like some type of slime type liquid, maybe like a radiation filled type liquid that looks like we do not want to touch that liquid. I can tell you that right now. Okay, if I can teleport there, I can save my game real quick. Okay, what is that noise? Uh, let's see, can we teleport? Oh, Digby. We're gonna teleport over here though, Diggs. Diggs? We're going over here. Okay, so, let's step on this blue mark. Oh, shit! Okay, whoa barely made it I didn't remember that one sorry for the cuss words folks I do not want to cuss very often but sometimes when you're in VR let's take a closer look sometimes when you're in VR things will just happen and you'll just say stuff and it, it's not something that you plan to do I don't really want to be too vulgar but every once in a while I will drop an f-bomb or an S bomb or H bombs, H E double hockey sticks, all that type of stuff. Whoa. Okay. Uh, can we teleport in here? We need to get that back. Okay. So this is supposed to be like where the offspring is or whatever. Uh, but I don't know what happened. Maybe I'm supposed to go over here. And maybe stand on this. Let me teleport this and then I can move here. Okay. Okay, so this has taken me to uh, back to probably where you choose levels again. All right, so I still got a C grade, no improvement there. Let's try a little bit of this level and uh, see what this one's like, Digby skills. Let's try a little bit of this. Access denied. Okay, there's my boy Digby. Let's see what this says. Bombs are very sensitive. Give the one outside a nudge to see what I mean. Okay, so there's a bomb out here. Digby, see that bomb? I want you to smash it. Go right here. Whoa. Digby, you okay up there? Come on, buddy. 
Aw. You're okay, you survived. Good job, Diggs. Okay, let's step on this one. Holding the left trigger makes Digby follow your left controller, useful for lining him up with targets. Squeeze the left grip button to make Dig Digby quickly teleport back to you. Okay, I don't think I knew about that, so I can go boom. Ah, okay. Okay, now here's a ball. I, I need Digby to come over here and down here. Okay, over there like that. Now, let's smack this ball. Uh-oh. Okay, Diggs, come on back. We gotta try to smack this ball better. Whoa, we smacked it too much. Damn it. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna have to reset back to the checkpoint. Okay, yeah, I'm back at the checkpoint. Okay, let's try this one more time. Okay, Digby, I want you to come, say, right here. A little bit lower. Okay, and let's, let's smack this ball like that. There we go. Good job, Digby. Good job. That's exactly. One thousand offspring. You must save them all. Every egg. Why are there only two of us? Maybe they don't trust humans to keep their secrets. Okay, Digby, we got a bomb that's on the tracks, and I need to push this ball up there, but that bomb's gonna screw with the ball, so guess what? I need you to be my demolition man, so... No, 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 no. Go ahead, Diggs. Whoa! Digby got blasted. Okay, Diggs, I need you to come back here. Let's just have you teleport. I'm sorry, Diggs. It is what it is. Okay, Diggs, so here we are again, and I need you to come over here down here and over here a little bit okay we're gonna smack this thing real good okay oops gotta smack it again smack it again oh that was stupid that was really really stupid it fell into the uh into the water see i can teleport like right here i can get outside and now i'm outside in this spot and i can teleport up here but to get past this level, you got to get that ball into that chute. And it does take a little bit of patience to do that. So I can respawn the ball. So if I go over here. Oh, there, I just hit him like that. Oh, okay, cool. It, I'm glad it responded over here. I thought I'd have to start over there again. Okay, Diggs, come over here. Back down a little or maybe up a little bit okay now let's smack this thing okay over here smack it again okay over here oh wait uh let's see smack it again i'm gonna go here oh man damn it that's not gonna work all right well, anyway, guys, I could keep going on with this, but I'm going to go ahead and call this a play session. Digby did help me out quite a bit. This ball looks like it is really here. It looks like it's taking up space. This is a pretty cool game. This is dimensional. And uh, I think I'm going to try to play this game some more. I don't know if those other levels have opened up yet or not. But I definitely want to play some more of Dimensional. It's a pretty cool game, and I got it for really cheap. You know, it um, it didn't cost a ton of money. I got it for a pretty good deal, and I'm not sure how much it's going for now. But if a lot of those other levels are opened up, it might be pretty cool to check out. So that's Dimensional, and uh, this is Anthony from VR Roundtable, and we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Later. Mm -hmm.